what we are imaging. Yes. But um, image, um, what image? The one that was done. Uh, the one that was one that I see for July 9th is the X-ray. Yes, that's the. One. Yes, sir. It's good. What do you want from me? Uh, well, I've been getting these. Okay, so I've been getting these um constant pains in my joints. It's been squeaking. It's been clicking. A little bit lately and the doctor the my pcp suggest i guess he got fear or whatever you're out exactly yep. what is going on with my knees well basically from that standpoint uh we need a x-ray of your knee only the left yeah and then it says here uh the, your history is that an in, intermittent crepitus some kind of you, you you uh there's like a sound it's called medically termed as crepitus. Okay. Now the finding is that is there's a normal mineralization. No findings, no acute fracture, no dislocation, no patellar subluxation or tilt. Okay. Adjoint spaces are preserved. Minimal sparring of the posterior patella bilateral is preserved. No joint, uh, no knee joint effusion. Soft tissue structures are normal. So this was coded as no acute change. Okay. And just continue taking your uh, vitamin D. Okay. That helps, especially uh, when you're young, you're 41 years old. But, you know, you still need the, the vitamin D to, to supplement that. No problem. And I'm going to refill both of these uh, gels. Okay, Mr. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Sounds good. What? All right, Fifth Fam, what's good? It's Saturday, a couple of days after that uh, prognosis on my knee. About to hit some legs and talk to you guys about my knee. But first, pre workout choice is antibiotic warfare, Stem Lord, strawberry margarita flavored. Guys, shit is good as fuck. For those who know me now, I'm a big fan of the liquor kind of be of uh, pre-workout and BCAs so it's like 7 30 in the morning too so I just literally like I woke up uh fresh myself and I'm out here so I'm about to hit some motherfucking legs I got shit to do and take you guys with me so we're gonna get the leg workout first talk about that let's get this guys 10 out of 10 it's a low stem so you don't get that pump I don't get those jitters when I take this either so definitely recommend it. if you don't want those jitters that that skin crawling I, I call it feeling i highly suggest you try antibiotic warfare you will have to get a sweat i guarantee you so let's, all right family so let's go ahead and talk about the knee knee situation prognosis on my knee so about a few months back guys i started having problems on my knee um, the left knee as you saw in the last vlog I'm not going to play it again but I started doing the squeaking and all that shit and then I started having problems with my right my right knee as well with pains so I went to my PCP primary care physician for veterans and decided to go you know, tell him and you know, I had my checkup and I showed him and <clears throat> he got kind of scared he was talking about this could be a big issue. So he had me get x-rays, which I showed that on the last vlog as well. So I went and got x-rays. So as you guys heard, there's no findings of any any kind of dislocation, of course. Uh, no kind of strains, no kind of patella tear, uh, none of that stuff. So basically it's just old ass fucking age, man. <laughs> um, just old ass age but the thing he did tell me though which i said before is going to be the weight um i weigh too much on my knees right now no i'm not 450 nothing like that i'm still between i've gotten down between 255 and 260 now so um yeah gotta lose the weight though it's not it's just too weight too much weight especially for what i do which is no lifting heavy weights so gotta get it down and you know it's just another reason for me now to lose the weight 
Well, it's always been the reason, but it just clarifies the main reason why I need to go ahead and you know, lose the weight, get on, uh, just continue on the diet uh, and stuff like that. So that's what's going on with me. No, no issues, no. It could be lingering issues if I don't lose the weight, basically. If I don't lose this weight, it's gonna be issues down the road. So for right now, I'm good. I got a chance to get this right, so that's what I'm gonna go do. Go get this right. Hey, man. But right now, I'm gonna I'm walk into the gym, get my knees warmed the fuck up, because that's exactly what the fuck they need. I need to get warmed up before I start squatting. I haven't squatted in a minute. It's fun squats too. I haven't fun squatted in a very, very long time. So we're gonna see, we test out my knees, see how, see where it's at. I do have the knee sleeves on. Probably just knee sleeves, so it's gonna be safe. All that good stuff. So let me go ahead and get this walk on. I'll see you guys in the gym. Yeah, a real gym. Still petty about that bullshit. Real gym. Let's work. This arctic relief, which is like biofreeze, but it's prescribed, so it's a whole lot stronger than biofreeze or even icy hot. Also, still use Tidal Bomb, and I still use a muscle cream to um, negate the pains on my knees and actually my whole body. I put this on right before, right before I go and do any kind of working out, and it just helps me out. So. Anybody that's looking for something, I'm pretty sure you guys know. Get um, BioFreeze. I see how it's okay, but if you can get BioFreeze, it's a little bit better than I see how in my opinion. So, those are things I take. family 225 it was easy way the fuck easy i thought yeah. so we're moving up to 275 the goal for the day again just trying to see why i'm at this is going to be a slow grind to get myself back up to three plates maybe i could do it today i'm not sure but it's going to be a process for me to get back up to 335 pounds the goal is to get 365 this time on fun squats. So, 275. I'm gonna shoot for, try to try to hit three reps. So, let's see if we can get this done. the session talk to you guys for a second about that front squat i'm probably going to talk about it again but just wanted to tell you guys that 315 front squat felt amazing to do after not squatting for about six to eight months but i'm going to explain that probably in the next clip or so so or in, a, in some more clips anyway so trap bar deads for the hams and the glutes this was just a total leg session um just wanted to see how my knee 
is feeling. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more stuff with my knee, like lunges, box jumps, and see where I'm at, because it's been a good while since I've done any lunges, any box jumps, any step ups, um, just because of the pains, and my knee's still in pain, but I do believe my mobility is getting a lot better now. <clears throat> Those front squats did not really hurt. I think as long as I keep these uh, pump chaser knee wraps on me, I think I should be okay. Um, as I said before, having these knee wraps, I feel old. I ain't gonna lie, I feel really, really old with these uh, pump chaser knee wraps on. But hey, I gotta do what I gotta do to preserve. This is about longevity. This is not about trying to stroke one's ego or be the strongest. I'm here for life. If I had to succumb to putting on belts and wraps and <clears throat> sleeves to stay in the game as long as I can to the day I die, that's what I'll do. So anyway, five plates on trap. Haven't done, like I said, haven't done trap bar days in a minute. So again, this felt amazing to still be able to produce five plates. I will like to try six plates and then I'm probably going to just keep it right there. I will not go up anymore and wait. Like I said with deads, I just at 605, I'm good. Don't need to go up to so, no, don't need to go up any further on deads. And squats is 500. Front squats is going to be a 405 goal and I probably will just keep myself right there. There's no reason for me to try to go up anymore. Um, I don't make any money. Uh, so doing this so this is just about me being the strongest me as possible anyway moving on hat squats um <clears throat> hat squats all good utility again if you want to engage deep in the squat uh you want to hit those hams those quads and those groups especially the glutes uh doing them backwards is the way to go um, doing the forwards, you get more of a quad activation, but if you want to get a total, in my opinion, of course, if you want total leg activation and glutes, hitting it backwards is, to me, the way to go. Uh, I believe doing it backwards has increased, along with the goblet squats, hitting these hat squats backwards or reverse has increased my squat, it has increased the depth of my squat as well, so that's why I keep incorporating, keep doing them. The mission here is to go 10 plates on here. I have reached as much as eight. So we're gonna keep going till I get to those 10 plates and stop right there. Uh, so pretty much the rest of the workout or the session was calves and that was it. Um, I really didn't do anything else extra. I just stayed on these machines for a while, stayed on the calves for a while. Uh, and that was it, it was just a regular work, regular session. Um, guys, I love meeting people. I met this beautiful, beautiful young lady came talk, and we were just having a chat about you know, some of the bullshits in the gym. Uh, I'm always looking for collabs, guys. So if you guys want to collab, get with me, local, and let's work. Let's do this thing. See y'all next clip. Fish taco. Don't be jealous. It's gonna be okay. Don't be jealous. Nice home cooked meal. Open says me. Your stomach hurt. Why your stomach?
Fish tacos, ladies and gentlemen. Fried fish tacos for those who's gonna be like, you're eating fried food, you're not gonna lose it. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said it, fuck it, fuck you. So, I'm about to enjoy life. We're about to enjoy life. We all are about to enjoy life. And those who don't, hey. Get there. Cause our birthday. So that's same. Alright, y'all. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Davion. Happy birthday to you. Hey, I'm pretty boy. Rough right now. You in the house. Dang. All right. Oh, Cut no. the cake, sir. Cut the cake, sir. What are you? I'm fine. You like matches? I thought blueberries did. Chains and automobiles, exotic trip chicks and black cribs, foreign fast car moving like NASCAR. Then post it to the gram, they can see how I live. Round the world, you can't find it. Rock the gold with the diamonds. Haters hate you when you shine. Plain chains and automobiles. Automobiles, exotic trip chicks and flat cribs. Foreign fast car moving like NASCAR. Then post it to the gram, they can see how I live. Round the world, you can't find me. Rock the gold with the diamonds. Haters hate you when you shine. Plain chains and automobiles. Automobiles, exotic trip chicks and fly cribs. Foreign fast car moving like NASCAR. Then post it to the gram, they can see how I live. Round the world, you can't find me. Rock the gold with the diamonds. Haters hate you when you shine. Plain chains and automobiles.
in automobiles Exotic trip chicks in black grips Foreign fast car moving like NASCAR Then posted to the gram, they can see how I live Round the world you can't find me Rock the gold with the diamonds Haters hate you when you shine Plain chains in automobiles